Managing noise from loud roadways can be very challenging, especially when elevated structures are part of the equation. Less noise improves the quality of life for residents and outdoors enthusiasts. Thanks to some innovative designs, which included a unique lightweight acrylic wall, noise was vastly reduced here on I-30 on the west side of downtown Dallas. We're looking at the uh, acrylic barrier because of the lightweight properties, its durability, its noise reduction, um, and its transparency. Uh, as a test that we could look at all these elements and see would this work in practice because Textile had never used any material like this before. Experts applied the work they did here to another loud roadway, the President George Bush Turnpike. Textile saw the, the huge success at I-30 and they were facing similar problems with noise at 190. Of course, the conditions there are different. It is, it is not an elevated structure, but the pavement is continuously reinforced concrete pavement as well. And based uh, upon the success of the I-30, they thought about creating a similar project. Although TxDOT does not typically perform noise abatement on existing roadways, which is considered a type two noise project, a study was conducted under this pilot research project life cycle cost and performance of lightweight noise barrier materials along bridge structures. The pilot project showed that an acrylic noise barrier design was effective on existing structures. In 2012, NTTA built these noise walls, which are eight foot. The initial modeling had the noise at 80 decimals. We had to come up with a design for something to put on top of those existing concrete walls, and, and we came up with the acrylic barrier design. So it's actually helped reduce the traffic noise for the neighboring uh, properties. We measured the effectiveness of the wall by a test called insertion loss, in which you put a noise meter behind the wall and a noise meter next to the traffic, just to measure the different levels that occur on either side of the wall. And we found that for, for 190, after the wall was completed, that is with the acrylic panels, the, the noise reduction was about 12, 12 and a half decibels. Before the panels, the, the difference was 10 decibels. So it was an addition, ad, additional noise reduction of about two and a half decibels. A lot of these homes are right along this highway, and so there's a lot of traffic noise. With this wall, it's helped to uh, reduce that traffic noise for these uh, neighboring properties. The lightweight barriers just add flexibility for TxDOT in the future. So now if we do have a bridge structure, um, we can actually build a barrier that's 15 feet tall, whereas we would have not built it in the past. We would have said, so sorry, we were not able to build this barrier because of engineering requirements. If you have a structure that you want to retrofit with noise walls, an acrylic panel solution could be ideal. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.